Hey y'all, welcome to Parker's Reef. On today's episode, we're gonna go take a special trip out to Box Hill South in Melbourne and check out Hazel's Reef Haven. All right, guys, thank you for joining me on another episode of Parker's Reef. And today I'm jumping in the car and heading on out into Melbourne, up to Box Hill South to be precise, to check out Hazel's store. I did check out Reef Haven that Hazel is the owner of a fair while ago, and I've since actually been up on a trip to Cairns with her to check out some suppliers and wholesalers, but I have not yet been to check out her brand new store, which I've been promising I would do for a very, very long time. Well, today is the day that I get to go out there and have a chat with Hazel, go through all of her fish and coral. And let me tell you, if you are not already following Reef Haven on socials, you will be in for a treat because Hazel gets in some of the wildest corals and fish you're gonna see anywhere in Australia. So uh, strap yourself in and prepare for what's gonna be a really cool store tour. Okay. All right, we are here at Reef Haven with Hazel, who's gonna take us all through her brand new shop here, show us all of the incredible fish and coral she's got. And um, firstly, Hazel, thank you so much for having us here at your shop. No. Really appreciate it. I know um, I went to your previous shop and uh, fair bit's changed since then. You've come here, um, got some big plans for here and also in the future, which we'll cover soon. But um, firstly, let's uh, let's jump into the shop. Show yeah. us what you have. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah. Um, this is our little, you know, display that we just set up. Yeah, nice. Uh, not much going on, but I've got a lot of nice ricks. Uh... You say not much going on, but I mean, you've got this <laughs> beautiful Hedoni yeah. carpet nem down there. You've got some cracking blaster frags, Acan frags, gonies, and then some to die for recordia over here. <laughs> Absolute showpieces in there. Really nice piece. I call like out this guy up the back here. It's got uh, green and gold mm, um, mm. spots on it with the uh, yeah. deep purple base. Beautiful piece. Yeah. <laughs> really, really nice. So, I mean, there's obviously more to come there, but uh, yeah. where it started is looking pretty good. Yep, yeah. <laughs> and then we got our, uh, I guess, Euphelia tank. Yeah, for got, sure. Uh, nice torches, hammers. Um, uh, lots of nice gold torches here as well. Yeah, gold <laughs> yeah. torches, not something you see a lot of these days, and you've got mm. them for. <laughs> for different size pieces, different shades of gold, different colored tips. Um, yeah, different sizes, lots to pick from there. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. And I like this. Um, is this one piece or is that two? It is, yes. It's uh, one whole hammer stuck together. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. <laughs> the way they just smoosh in together. <laughs> and you got some really nice pieces in here from, I mean, you got some torches up here. We've got uh, torches. gold tip torches and we've got uh, the green, toxic green stem mm. with some uh, pink tips. And we've got the... Uh, your fairly standard stem with the bright green tips, different sizes of those. Beautiful, this um, uh, marbled hammer up there. Oh, yeah. Really nice. nice little tentacles on it. And um, you can see on screen there, the color is absolutely popping. Just a uh, pretty handy little gold hammer up the back there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I should also touch um, on that, uh, whilst um, you're in, it's Box Hill here, is that the yes. subject? Yep, yep. Box Hill South. So we're yep. in Box Hill South here, and I'll show on screen the, uh, open hours and days that uh, you guys are here, but you also have a website that you can ship Australia-wide? Pretty much anywhere in Australia, even rural. Uh, yeah. It'll pretty much always be overnight. Yeah, yes, amazing. Flat rate, $50, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. So yeah, we'll jump, I mean, I'll show some footage on screen of your website so people can have a look. But um, awesome. if you are a Melbourne native or you're uh, visiting Melbourne, I highly recommend coming in. There's nothing like checking out the pieces of uh, coral and also the fish in person. And of course, having a chat to Hazel, who's, um, a very knowledgeable reef keeper and can uh, take you through everything like like we are today but um sorry to interrupt please <laughs> continue with the tour um of these euphilia any uh, particular pieces of interest or anything that um that you're a big fan of um i really like this uh this gold torch it's got 11 heads on it damn um and yeah it's a very very big piece it'll be definitely a show piece for uh, wow. you know <laughs> yeah and that's that guy anything. this guy in the corner here um the one at the oh, back the one that's behind him. huge yeah, and yeah, these are yeah. also other um, these women yeah these eight, aren't exactly small yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah and they're beautiful i've got the real contrasty mm. gold stem with the teal tips mm. Uh, just uh, smooshing away there in the uh, flow, look absolutely beautiful. Now you've got even more systems, you've got this big, down yes. the middle of your shop here, so we've got this like big long continuous Huge. run of coral here and um, plenty yep. to see. Yep. So uh, yeah, yeah. What, where should we start, this front corner? Yes, uh, we've got some blasto frags here, um, we've got some chalice, you know, bubble corals, zoas, pretty much 
everything that you can get, you can see here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nice. Now in the bluster frags, you've also got some scully frags up the back yes, there. Yes, yes. Awesome. awesome. Are they uh, frags you've picked up from somewhere or frags you've cut yourself or? Um, picked up from somewhere, yeah. Yeah, nice, nice, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Aquacultured, yeah. I'm big fan of the uh, aquacultured uh, scollies yes. and yeah, those guys have got some beautiful colors and I'm real master grade scollies. This um, blaster here with the, the purple uh, base, I mean, it's got the green eye, which is mm. fairly common, but the purple base with this inner blue ring followed by the uh, red great. lines on the outside, mm. super, super cool. Mm. Nice chalice and these bubbles, man, they look angry. <laughs> really nice. There's uh, stingers out there and then one further back there just uh, behaving itself a bit more. <laughs> What else can you show us, Hazel? Uh, yeah, so I've got um, I've got really nice uh, crokia clams. Beautiful. <laughs> um, very very nice colours. I've um, got a nice monty cap that's growing out uh, very nicely. Yes. Um, I've got some bow bankies, some rainbow you know rainbow bow bankies. Um, uh, I've got some nice big hammers down there as well in the back. Yes. Um, lots of torches, um, a lot of softies, and pretty much you know all these gonies and acans for everything. Amazing. Um, yeah, and there's some more blasters here as well. Yeah, these are um, great blasters. Very, very nice blasters. Like tiger stripe blaster mm. there, absolutely beautiful. Yeah. You've got, yeah, blasters, acans, really nice assortment of hammers and mm. all sorts of other euphilias. And of course, yeah, this tank goes over the other side as well. Yes. Um, plenty to see over there. So yeah, we've got softies <laughs> on, the, on the middle here. Got some uh, SBS wild colonies up the top, mm. big elegance. Mm. Plenty of uh, helio fungi is there, and yeah, these barrel bankies. Woo. There's some big <laughs> very, pieces very there. Nice. Beautiful yeah. colours on them, and yeah, the croquet clams. Not easy to come by croquets at the moment, so cool yeah, to see you've all. got three mm. there to pick from. Mm. Really, really nice. We're gonna jump on the other side though and have a look at some of the yeah. euphilia over there because yeah, awesome. um, <laughs> there's some nice pieces. <laughs> um, yeah, so we've got some. Yeah, this is my favourite section. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hazel's favourite pick. Yeah, <laughs> uh, gold tip torches. I've got a very nice mottled, you know, giant mottled hammer. Um, very, very nice reverse hammer as well. Blastros and some more softies. Very fluffy, nice softies. Yeah, there. I am yeah. really enjoying the softies at the moment. Not that I have any in my display tank, <laughs> but I've got a newfound appreciation for them. And um, every place I go that has a nice little assortment of soft corals, I see something that I've never seen before. And, <laughs> It brings back that excitement and that joy of reef keeping, which I <laughs> yeah. think is kind of the whole purpose of it, you know? Yeah. So really cool to see uh, Softies getting the attention they deserve again. Mm, mm, my best seller, actually. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it used to be so full and now it's, you know, empty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> quickly out the door. And I mean, you go, I can see why when we've got large Softies, $50 Australian, small Softies, $35 Australian, cheap way to add some <laughs> color and movement to your yeah. tank and get a bit of diversity. Mm, mm. Got some nice uh, gonies here as well. Nice mm. assortment there. And then uh, plenty of acans from smaller pieces into medium pieces and then up to some larger pieces. This guy here has got some beautiful mm, colours on him. Can, yeah. Really nice uh, splashes of gold through there. And some chalice and then, man, you've got some ridiculous recordias. <laughs> <laughs> Not just Love in your display, <laughs> but um, everywhere. And these guys, these ones are very well yeah. priced, particularly for Ricks at the moment, exactly. which are not uh, the most affordable piece out there <laughs> as they go through some popularity. <laughs> but. Um, Really, really nice. And even these uh, morphs up here, the back here, it's like gold spotted morphs. Really nice, beautiful pieces. And then, yeah, see the tail end of the uh, euphilia there, some of the blaster colonies. And then, yeah, that, uh, I should get a close up view of that uh, modeled hammer. He is a big showpiece. This is a large, large system. In fact, it'd be, it was about be the biggest, I'd say, 10 yeah. foot long, this system, something like that. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, 10 by like something like three or four feet. It's a big, big system and uh, the hammer still looks big in there. <laughs> this reverse stem hammer is quite nice as well. It is, very nice. Definitely, and then yeah, even got some sea sponge there, mm. or sea fan. Yep, spider sponge they <laughs> spider call Spider sponge, it. oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I should read the tag, it's right oh, there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that looks great, beautiful. And some galaxia in there too, for people looking for uh, near mm. bulletproof, uh, bright, colorful corals with some movement, works a treat. Super, super nice. Yeah, great. And this system here, I mean, it is lit up by an absolute sea of Philips Coral Cares. <laughs> there is, let's have a look, two, four, six, eight, ten Coral Cares on this system here alone. Heaps and heaps of lights blanketing the system. And then there's another four on the next system down there. So, you know, these uh, corals are going to get well lit up and uh, absolutely no shading while they're here, which is awesome. <laughs> 
Um, so yeah, over here we have a tank full of A cans. Yes. Um, these are our uh, more ultra A cans, the more rarer coloring. Beautiful. Um, so we've got a lot of rainbow A cans here, and some ch they're very cheap as well. You know, from fifty bucks. Yeah. yeah wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So I mean, rarely do you hear the words ultra and cheap in the same sentence. Yep. But, <laughs> This tank accommodates because we've got some big, like the pieces at the back there are massive. We've got some really nice grade mid-sized pieces here and then check out these frags. I'll be sure to get some close-up footage of those from the top down of the DSLR just so you can really appreciate all of the colors, but um, really well-priced pieces. And I gotta say, Acans, I mean, look at how fluffy this guy is up mm -hmm. here. Just dancing in the uh, flow there, really nice. Got his feeder tentacles out. Such a cool coral that, uh, you can really stack up next to each other. They rub shoulders with each other really well. You get really nice contrasting colors and patterns. Um, pretty forgiving with their care requirements. Just um, awesome coral, really. As long as you don't have fish that like to eat corals. Yeah, definitely. Acans and blastos yeah. are one of the first things I'll go for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if you don't fit in that category, then you, I mean, you'd be mad not to have an ocean of, um, of acans in your tank. And I'm sure Hazel here at Reef Haven can uh, definitely hook you up with plenty there to get a garden <laughs> yeah. going on that's really definitely. cool and this system lit up with more of the coral cares as well so plenty of uh yeah no shadowing in that system whatsoever light for days and then we've got another big coral bank this is huge system. i really love this system it's got this big uh, one piece euro brace on top of it it's at a really cool height so you can just look down you can see even with the flow on you can have a look and see all these corals from the top down and really take in their uh, color and shape and um You've got a pretty eclectic mix of all sorts in here. Yeah. Um, from the quick glance, I've seen like uh, um, chalice. We've seen. Uh, let's have a look. There's Fabias. There's. Um, oh man, I've totally forgotten what the um, <laughs> the not gonies, the um, alveoporas. Alveos. <laughs> yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Awesome range of corals there. Yeah. So yeah, are you able to take us through those? Yeah. Uh, I obviously I tried to. Uh make it as uh you know most variety as possible for sure um so yeah we've got alveos we've got acans trackies we've got master gonies um you know not commonly found colors for yeah. gonies um, yeah this got one's some, got like a, mm, a variety of colors through it yeah rainbow alveos. absolute showpiece yeah mm -hmm. yeah and these chalice oh my god <laughs> i'm a big chalice fan of this thing here oh, yeah. oh <laughs> man look at the colors and that the pinks the golds the blues and there's just, there's more. There's another very similar color piece here. Then you go to your solid gold, gold with blue spat, splashes. And then, yeah. That's my favorite. That's <laughs> the, definitely my favorite. There's two more epic pieces there. One with basically uh, teal splashes through it and one with maroon splashes with just little hints of gold there. If you like chalice, man, you've got pieces to pick from for absolute days down here, which is pretty cool. And even um, this scenario here, you can see the solid red next very to it, and then you've got this uh, beautiful peach color showing mm. through it. Stunning, stunning pieces. And then, oh, I've just noticed over here. The trackies. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to run out of air soon, but look at the trackies. Holy very moly. Fat. That's a big, big piece. Some really nice complementary pieces around it. Looks absolutely gorgeous. And of course, more Recordia. Yes, more Recordia. <laughs> <laughs> more Recordia, more Acans. Yep. Some nice uh, Pectinias mm. here as well. I love uh, those, the super, super bright. It's yeah. uh, very fast, Goniastria. Goniastria, yeah. beautiful, mm. yeah. I mean, it looks as if someone cracked open a highlighter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just <laughs> spilt much. it on the ground. Hard to beat the uh, brightness on that for mm. sure. And then, yeah, we've got Chalice, we got Lobos, we got Fabias. This Chalice here is pretty cool. Mm. This uh, real dark one with the green spots on it. I like that. More bubble corals here. This is quite nice too. Yeah. With the um, oh, as I put some ripples in the uh, water, but uh, and very cheap as well. Yeah, oh, and everything here fifty bucks. Yeah, <laughs> wow, yeah, yeah. And today's <laughs> pricing, that's that's an affordable piece. Yeah. It's a good size. A good. I got big hands, and it's the size of my palm. <laughs> Um, and that's got really nice splashes of color through it. Mm. We got onto some uh, nice zoas there, nice little wild collected zoas or just grown out zoas mm. perhaps. Good assortment there. I like the way this one's got um, nice little just green and gold it's variants nice. through it. Yeah. And then the one next to it's got the blue and orange through it. Really, really mm. nice. Up here you got some uh, Favia and Acan frags. Mm, very cheap as well. <laughs> More coral, yeah, beautiful. And then candy canes, some of my favorites. Yes, candy canes. Toxic candy canes, always look a treat. Yeah, beautiful pieces. Another nice gold chalice here as well. Yeah, that's beautiful. I like the way that where it's cut, it's mm. already healed down yeah. that side. It's growing fast. Yeah. Beautiful, yeah, really nice, nice piece. 
One of the uh, small tentacle bubbles there as well, still with a nice bit of toxic in it. Gold torch is yeah, <laughs> just sitting down there. <laughs> I haven't finished sorting. I had a <laughs> still a bit of sorting. Actually, speaking yeah. of torch, you got some nice ones down in there. Yeah. Still to be sorted out. Check mm. out the uh, green with the uh, pink tips. Nice little nano size gold there. Some uh, gold with uh, the um, mint tips back there. Beautiful pieces. Yeah, really, really nice. Very, very nice indeed. This A can here too. I'll see if I can yeah, get a bit of a view of that. Really unique coloring on that with the uh, green and the gold. Very nice. Yeah, that's a better angle over there. Cool, cool piece. Super, super nice. There's actually this. Wow, what is this? Is this an A can here? It looks. That is called a moonstone. Ah, a moonstone. Apparently, yeah, moonstone coral. <laughs> it's got really unique uh, shape to it. I like mm. it. Yeah. <laughs> super, super cool. Very, very nice. Then. Um, Euphilia, it wouldn't be a trip to Reef Haven without more Euphilia. Yeah, yep, exactly. <laughs> Euphilia is my favorite. Yeah, yeah, understandably so, got, so. Yeah, I've got Euphilia, I've got some nice, you know, very nice orange hammer. Yes. Um, I've also got some really, I've got a really nice Lobo as well. Absolutely, very, yeah. Very nice Lobos, Lobos. I, I mean, I've been trying to pump up the tires of Lobos now for, yep. for what feels like months because I feel like as Scully's got more and more expensive, oh, people needed yeah. to look for alternatives. And, and in Lobos my opinion, places. Lobos have got as brighter colors, yep. way better options in uh, patterns, obviously considerably larger mm. and a fraction of the price. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> I mean, yep. Imagine if that was a Scully, that thing would be like $10,000. <laughs> Um, now, oh, yeah, for I, sure. I don't know the price of that piece, but I'm assuming it's not $10,000. Sure, yeah, no, definitely not, yeah. Um, and yeah, heaps, heaps of Lobos to pick mm. from. Just such a cool piece, um, pretty hardy. Don't need a heap of light, mm. don't really need any special care requirements, and you can get colors and patterns mm. like that, which is hard to beat. But I was talking about Euphilia, and um, yeah, there's some nice ones here. Have a look at this uh, gold stem with pink mm. anchors on it. That's a little showpiece there, mm. and a nice gold next to him. A few more golds and greens and all sorts about. Really nice, really nice, this is really nice uh, reverse up here. Check that guy out. The nice frog spawns over that side. Even more frog spawns up there. Just beautiful, beautiful pieces. Really nice assortment of corals you have there. And, and then even some more uh, softies and some elegants down in here too. This guy's really cool. The dark with the, it's almost oh, got yeah. a, a nice teal ring before it goes yep. to the translucent mm. um, tentacles mm. on it. <laughs> Super nice. Fantastic. Now, <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> Anything more you can show us, Hazel? Yes, my actually the most colourful tank that I have. Mo more most colour than colourful. we've seen so oh, far. Oh yeah, definitely most most colourful. <laughs> Save the best for last. Wow. Okay. My scollies. Oh, yes. nice. Like full rainbow of colour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No shortage of scollies. Um, I mean, we're talking about uh, yeah. Lobos being the sort of the poor man's scolly before, yeah. but hey, <laughs> if you're a uh, baller, this is the tank to go to because. Um, <laughs> Holy moly, oh, Hazel has very, some very nice show color. pieces in here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, these, I mean, I mean, we talk about uh, being a baller and that, but these still are quite affordably priced. Yeah, like the yeah. absolute yeah. cream of the crop in here is, is they're $1,500 yep. <laughs> pieces, which I'm not gonna say it's a giveaway, but yep. <laughs> have a look at these pieces. I'll see if I can get some footage. I'll get uh, the top down so you can have a good look at those in a minute. But um, man, oh yeah, look at that flow turning off now. That uh, UFO there or the master, Great there, this gold with the red stripes through it. Whew, there is some showpiece in there. You got the purple with gold. Just absolutely beautiful scollies and um, no shortage of options to pick from. And then it's a it's a steep drop off. Like the $1,500 yeah. is for the primo, primo uh, row. The next row down, which I would say is still, look at this one third back there. It's got this beautiful yellow splash through it. That is a crackerjack of a scolly. And it goes down to 450 bucks. That's surely that needs to be sorted. That can't be right, Hazel. That's too cheap. That's a steal, yeah. That is a steal. Scullies these days yeah. are not that cheap. Yep. That's um I mean if you want like a plain bleeding apple or something, 450, <laughs> sure, but not yeah. one with splashes of yellow in it. Yep. That's gorgeous. Definitely. <laughs> super, super nice. Yeah. So we've got scullies up this end. We've got some desh up here too, which are uh, pretty special pieces as well. I like um we've got some really nice blues and reds in there. And then, um, yeah, a couple of big solid uh, of greeny blue guys there. And then you've got, oh, this nice bow banky there as well. Red with some go uh, green splashes through it. Some button scollies as well. And then some more ACAN colonies. Mm. Beautiful pieces, super, super nice. Well, you're not wrong that uh, 
You did save the best coral system for last. Yep. I mean, <laughs> particularly if you like scollies, there's some show pieces in there, but um, it's, it is called reef haven, not coral haven. <laughs> you have more than just coral here. In fact, you're actually really well known for your fish yes. and the process you put your fish through. Yep. Do you want to take us through both what you have and also yeah, sure. what goes through the process with the fish before they're available for sale? Yep, sure. So uh, we have two main systems. Yes. Um, all our fish get acclimated straight into copper. Our right system is filled with our more sensitive fish like wrasses, um, your gobies, your antheas, um, which go into slightly less lower copper. Sure. And then on the left system, we've got all our angelfish, our tangs, um, which get acclimated into higher copper. Okay, great, um, great. And then there will be um, a few prazi doses in between as well to get rid of the flukes and tapeworms and yep, stuff like yep. that. Yep, yep, <laughs> So the fish all go through it. And, and what, how long does that sort of take that process from when you receive a fish till it's yep. available for sale? Um, so we generally keep everything for two weeks yes. minimum. Yep. Um, for tangs, um, we do tend to keep them for longer if okay. we notice symptoms. Yes. Um, but for the right size system, the gobies and uh, blennies, they all, they all should be fine to go. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Amazing, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you know when you're buying fish from uh, Reef Haven that they've gone through a uh, detailed quarantine uh, process. Um, and of course, Hazel's always available to chat about exactly what that particular fish has gone through, where it's been collected from, uh, what part of the world, and um, what, the, what sort of uh, history you've had with that supplier and whatnot. So you know you're buying quality fish and um, yeah, you can leave all of those hassles you might get um, elsewhere out of your tank, which is always a, um, always a benefit <laughs> for <laughs> <Yeah>. sure. <laughs> well, that's super cool. Now, it's not just about the quarantine, quarantine process you put your fish through. You also have, a, to be fair, a pretty substantial range of fish here. Yeah. I know <laughs> you get some absolute top shelf things in yep. for some of your clients. Yep. You can always order in yes. no matter what they're chasing. I know you've got some clients that you've tracked down some of the rarest fish in the world yep. for, yep. but minus those super high price tag, super rare fish, you also have a really good uh, supply of some of your bread and butters and maybe some of you a little bit more uh, rare fish and um, yeah. we'll have a look at some of those today. So yeah. let's have a look, what, what have we got in stock? Yeah, sure. So uh, starting from the right side, we've got yeah. some designer clowns, very popular. Lovely. Um, and then Gorgeous we've... juveniles <laughs> there. Beautiful fish. Gotta say these systems all look so nice and clean, looking really, really mm -hmm. good. Yep, and then we've got some, uh, yeah, we've got a Naoki ras. Yeah, the Naoki's. A little freaked out about yeah. the camera, but such a beautiful fish. <laughs> yeah. Bangai Cardinals there, such a staple to the uh, marine reef, I think. Mm. Really cool contrast to most other fish that are pretty active. Those guys <laughs> just tend to hover yeah. there. And hover. <laughs> <laughs> we've got a leopard ras, which is one of my favorites. It's pretty much the prettiest ras I've yeah. seen. Yeah, beautiful rass. red leopard, caught just a goby, and pajama cardinals. Got a uh, six line wrasse and uh, ooh, a royal dotty back too, is it? That's a diadema dotty back, yes. Yeah, nice. Beautiful fish. Really, really nice. Super cool fish in that system. Uh, then, uh, oh, you got some more up here as well. Some clowns. Nice pattern clowns. Looks like a uh, candy hog or a yellow hog. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Um, oh, and I've got some. Uh these guys here, my very expensive fish. <laughs> yeah, nice. Uh, imported. So I've got some Hofrichi gobies and I've got a Bourbonius anthea. Bourbonius, beautiful yes. fish. <laughs> really, really nice. Mm. Some banana wrasses mm. in there too. But yeah, Hofrichi, super cute. <laughs> very, very nice. And I mean, we've got heaps of fish here. We've got more red leopards, more cleaner wrasse, some fire gobies. Ooh, what kind of wrasse is this guy? Ooh, this is a blue fairy wrasse. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Very cheap. Yeah. <laughs> 60, 50 bucks. Six, 50, 60 bucks for a fish <laughs> like that. Check yeah. out the size of this big, is this gold nugget or gold stripe clown? Gold stripe, yeah. She's really. a big mum of that. <laughs> I reckon she'd give a nice bite if you put your hand in the oh, tank. Yeah, <laughs> She's even keeping that six line wrasse honest. Coming up here, got nice convict tang, powder blue tangs. Uh, oh, look at these little ocean of uh, baby blue tangs. <laughs> blue tangs. <laughs> They're just all schooling together, which looks super, super cool. And then uh, bristle tooth and uh, Valentini puffer. Beautiful. Oh, I see a few nice, nice trigger in here. 
And some nice angels too. What yes. what have we got in here? Yeah, I've got a little scribbled angel. Oh man, um, I've not seen a scribbled angel that yeah. small before. They're normally pretty big. <laughs> yeah, That's exactly. cool to see. Very, very cute. Yeah, nice little baby. Yep, I've got Gorgeous. a majestic, I've got an emperor. Lovely. Majestic, a few puffers in there. Yep, yep. Um, and then, uh, yeah, a little powder blue as well. Lovely. Um, and then I've got some very nice puffers in here as yeah, well. Yeah, look at these uh, guys, wow. <laughs> A little porcupine puffer. I've got a stars and stripes puffer. Very nice. Um, and we've got an emperor as well. And uh, yeah, it's always a pleasure feeding these guys because it's so fun to watch. They Definitely go nuts on the <laughs> fruit. We, we sometimes feed them, you know, live yabbies, and yeah, they yep. go crazy for it. <laughs> yeah. Full of personality. Yeah, yeah. I do love the puffers. Mm. Super, super. I, I really like. I mean, the porcupines have got always full of character, but mm. stars and stripes have got a pretty just mm. cool demeanor about them mm. too. So yeah, fun fish to see. <laughs> Very, very nice. And then uh, we've got even more over here. What yes. have we got here? Some more stars and yes. stripes. Some more sun. Yeah, we've got some majestic. We've got a, a sunset ras here. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, we've got a, some other tangs as well, bristle tooths. Yep. Um, and then we've got a bunch of lipsticks up here as well. Yeah, They're doing right. very well, eating a lot. Nice Fantastic. <laughs> Always a challenge with uh, Naso exactly. Tangs, getting them yep. to eat. Yep. So exactly. good to see them looking nice and fat and mm. settling in through the quarantine process mm. well. Mm. Oh, got, got, some, some, got some very cute got baby some cuties fish. down here, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, so I've got uh, I've got some baby Desjardinis. Yes. Oh. Um, I've also got a captive bred lemon peel angel. Yeah, awesome. Uh, which is oh, very man. rare. Yeah, you never see those. Yeah, that guy yeah. is super small. <laughs> <laughs> he's like the size of like a 10 cent coin. He's in with some small fish and he's still mm. by far the smallest. <laughs> and we've got a, a little lionfish. It's very oh, cute as well. Oh my goodness. Super small little lionfish there, so so cute. <laughs> what type of lion is he? Do you know? Uh, he's a dwarf lionfish. Yeah, nice. Yep. So even when growing up, he's not going to be massive. Yep. <laughs> oh, he's obviously going to get bigger than that. He, <laughs> he's the size of a, the end of my thumb at the moment. <laughs> and, and I've got a, a baby marine beetle. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that is so tiny. What a cute fish! <laughs> wow. How do you go feeding a uh, baby marine beta? Um, so the good thing is uh, we, we feed them little baby live shrimps first yeah, and nice. then they start to, we cater them to, uh, uh, to frozen foods. Yeah, yeah. brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Such a cool fish. I've got a marine baiter in my system now. Oh, really? I yeah. really love just how um, uh, reclusive she yeah. is. She only comes out every now and then and if you do catch her out swimming around the tank, she takes off and hides. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's, she's only been in there for a month or two yeah. now, so she's still I've, settling in. But I've got an adult version as well. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that gives you an idea of the sort of size yeah. they do get. Such a beautiful fish. Very, very beautiful. Just, I love the way they move mm. and they, um, they end up sort of sitting with their front mm. legs out to sort of perch in the spot, which is really cool. <laughs> We've got some more clowns, some uh, coral beauty angels down there. Uh, purple tangs, yes. transitioning emperor. Mm. And we've and, got a uh, very rare piece here. <laughs> yeah, what's this guy? Um, this one is a king angel. Yeah, nice. King Don't angel. see the kings so, too yeah, often. Exactly. Yeah. Really nice. And still mm. a smallish size for mm. a king as well. Exactly, got a nice yeah. bit of growing to do. <laughs> and some more blues and mm. some other beautiful fish. Mm. And then up the top here. Very nice soul hole and a very nice Moorish idol. Beautiful, yeah. yeah. Really nice scopace tang too. But that scope, uh, that um, soul hole is. Uh, such a sight to see, beautiful healthy mm, fish. Mm. He looks like he wants to go to a new home. He's, <laughs> yeah. he's ready to dominate your reef tank. Yeah. <laughs> but it's such a, such a fish with a heck of a personality. And mm. I believe you've also got another uh, yes. little resident over here <laughs> that... Um, he's uh, become the store mascot pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> he's very friendly. Uh, he always comes up for pats. Yes. But yeah, he's super friendly. People always come by and I get them to feed it. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> Such a personality. And just as soon as you get near the tank, it gets excited and just those, <laughs> those um, I was going to say fins, but those sides start rippling and go straight towards your hand. Loves a pat. <laughs> Such a cool fish, and mm. is this is this a pet or this is for sale? Or? <laughs> well, uh, he is supposed to be for sale, but he's more so like a pet now. I'd say. <laughs> yeah. he's, he's definitely made himself at home here, and yeah. uh, you can't blame him. What a beautiful fish! Uh, well, what a beautiful animal, I should say. Mm. Yeah, beautiful spots at him, and I just can't believe how how much he loves a pet. That's uh, unbelievable. Yeah. Cool, cool. Mm. Um, anything else you want to show us? Um, I do have an Achilles tang, which yeah. is doing very, very well. It's my favorite. <laughs> yeah, nice, nice. Very, very nice, yeah. Ah, oh, beautiful. 
Yeah. You don't see those often as well. You do not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's just in the, currently in the quarantine process? Yes, or, yep, yeah, yep. so that's why the water's a bit cloudy. Yeah, moment, sure, yeah, yeah. So he's just progressing feet. through, mm -hmm. doing all the things he needs to do because <laughs> we all know how uh, how difficult Achilles can be. Yep, so yep. we want to make sure he's well quarantined <laughs> and uh, ready to come disease-free into mm. your tank, which is <laughs> pretty cool. And a timeline of roughly when you think he'll be available? Um, oh, probably in about a week or so, I'd say. Yeah, yeah so great. he's been in there for quite a long time. Yeah, he's okay. just treating him for uh, flukes because he was uh, scratching a little bit. Yep, yeah. yep. <laughs> Get him all all sorted and under control. And yep. I've just noticed, oh my God. Oh my God, yes. These are oh, my, my best sellout, honestly. I've got a waiting list for these guys. Yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah. They are super, super cute. super cute, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, very, very And a type of cowfish or boxfish? Yes, it's a longhorn cowfish. Yeah, beautiful. So they do end up growing horns later on. Yes, <laughs> yep. They're just like the size of like a... It's like smaller than my thumb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you've got small thumbs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would say they are the size of a large pea at the moment. They're, they're, yeah. they're tiny, super cute. Very, very nice fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. And these guys also going through quarantine at the moment or, yes, or available? Yes, yep, well. hence the waiting yep. list. But yep, um, yep. <laughs> if you do want one for your reef tank, obviously reach out to Hazel. She can um, get you in the queue with those and get them quarantined and everything ready. And once they're available, she'll let you know and we can get them yeah. uh, boxed up and sent to you. Or of course, you can come pick them up here. <laughs> yeah, incredible. Yeah. So apart from uh, stingrays, we can also get eels, we can get sharks, uh, and we recently actually just got in an octopus for a customer that's I requesting. saw that on your Facebook page, yeah, yeah super cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we usually get, um, yeah, we can pretty much get any predator that you uh, that you request for, yeah, yep, yep. yeah. Unbelievable, <laughs> and um, do they all come as friendly as this guy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wish. <laughs> But uh, yeah, no, the octopus was pretty interactive. Oh yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm super intrigued by octopus, but yeah. um, I don't know if I'd be putting my hand in with the octopus. <laughs> yeah. There's something about them that is super cool, but um, to me, they're a bit like a snake. I like to watch from a distance. <laughs> they just, I don't know, I feel like they're more intelligent than I am. So oh, I, yeah. I'm intimidated by them. Yeah. <laughs> but no, that's really cool. I mean, it just goes to show that not only do you have a huge range of uh, fish that are fully quarantined here, ready to go, but you also are able to source Literally pretty much anything really um, from uh, mild to wild for your customers, which is um, pretty, pretty cool. And um, yeah, don't be afraid to reach out to Hazel and the team on the uh, Reef Haven uh, website or uh, any of the socials. And um, yeah, that's incredible. So uh, now I have noticed over here, Hazel, you've got a decent range of dry goods available as well, just to make yes. sure that uh, people can make this their one stop shop. <laughs> yeah. So we've got uh, everything that you need for a uh, setup. We've got the sand, we've got the rock. Um, we've got the bacteria, a lot of foods as well, some testers. Um, yeah, awesome. Yeah, a lot of uh, reactors, you know, phosphate uh, reactors, HANA test kits. Beautiful, yeah, you've got the full Red Sea range there, mm. you've got HANAs, you've got APIs, you've got aquarium systems, mm. all your bacterias, Dr. Tim's, biopallets, and even the uh, FOS 0.04, which is very mm. hotly chased and then a good assortment of uh, rock as well which was yes. really cool and i heard a little uh, rumor that it may be expanding from reef haven to include uh fresh water in the near yes. future as well uh, yeah so we are actually we're planning to put this section as our freshwater section yeah awesome um so we're going to be importing you know the I, I want the cool stuff though so monster fish you know flower horns and yeah, crazy. Uh, discus stuff like that yeah, yeah, so. yeah. all the high-end freshwater stuff yes, will be available yes. here soon and is it true that uh, whilst this is a fairly new premises that in the future you may be looking to move to yet another premises again? Yes, uh, so we are planning to uh, hopefully save up for our own. Yeah, um, awesome. Because this is rented. Uh, yes. So yeah, once we get our uh, new store, we'll have yep. everything properly set up and we'll have even bigger selection of uh, yeah, crazy. stuff well, too. Yeah. <laughs> if you ever needed more reason to uh, come on down to support Reef Haven, this is the time to do it so you can help these guys get their own store where they can uh, do what they like. I don't have to worry about uh, landlords or anything like yep. that. <laughs> they can set up some monster aquarium systems of both freshwater and marine systems, which would be really, really cool to see. And you can be 100% certain that as soon as that happens, you will be able to follow all the progress right here on Parker's Reef. So um, cool. massive shout out, Hazel. Thank you so much for having <laughs> us here and uh, taking okay. time out of your day to wear a microphone and take us through your shop because um, <laughs> It's definitely considerably more interactive when uh, the store owner makes themselves available because people get sick of me looking and pointing at corals. <laughs> no. <laughs> I really appreciate it and I'm sure all the viewers do too, so thank, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> 
All right, guys, there you have it. That is the tour of Hazel Store Reef Haven. I gotta say what an awesome shop it is from some of the best corals I've seen in a fair while all the way through to some of the cutest and rarest fish I've seen. And like I touched on in the video, that's really just scraping the surface of the kind of stock that Hazel can get in for you if there is something in particular you're chasing. So don't be shy to reach out to her via both her website down here, but of course also the Facebook page and any other social media channels that you prefer to use. Now, I will wrap the video up there. I just want to give a huge shout out and thank you to everyone who has subscribed to this channel. We have recently gone past the 25,000 subscriber mark and um, I don't know if you can tell by the smile on my face, but it really does truly humble me. And um, I just really appreciate everyone for following along my reefing journey, both with my own tanks, but also getting out seeing other people's tanks and of course store tours like we had today. So thank you very much. If you are yet to become a subscriber though, there's no reason not to join now. 25,000 was not the end goal. That was yesterday's goal. We're moving forward. So if you want to jump on and hit that subscribe button in the bottom corner or take two seconds of your time, it cost no money whatsoever. Now I did promise that there would be a special giveaway once I reach 25,000 subscribers and I will have details for that very shortly so stay tuned I can't release it just yet but uh, I promise it is coming very very soon so please do stay tuned for that other than that guys I hope you enjoyed the video till next time stay safe keep roofing cheers bye